Now you have to make sure that each time you do one of these solid features that you are adding it to the boss. If you look in your solids manager and you see more than one solid, that means you didn't add it to the boss, you created a new solid, another solid. In that case, you'd probably want to go to solids, boolean, select those and add them together. Now the next thing we want to do is to add a bolt circle on the face of the flange. According to our instructions, it says there should be eight holes on a 6.62 .62 diameter, half inch diameter holes. So we're going to construct some geometry on this face. So the first thing I want to do is set my plane so that I'm working through the front. And then I want to set my Z height and I can just pick the edge of the front of this flange and it should say that your Z is at 8.7. Now if you got some other number then you might want to check and make sure your plane is set to front. Now we want to create a bolt circle on that face. So we're going to go to create bolt circle. The base point is going to be the center of that face. Now it asks for a radius. Now we know the diameter 6.625 and I'll just say divided by 2. I want a full circle. I want 8 holes. I want it to create arcs and I want those arcs to be a half inch diameter. And that's all we need. So now we're just going to apply that and now I'm going to set my Z to the back flange. Now your depth should be minus 8.7. The base point is going to be the same center point so I can pick the center of this flange. Doesn't matter, they're on the same center. The radius is the same. Full circle, 8 holes, half inch diameter. If I rotate this around, you'll see now we have our bolt circle on the back side and we can OK this. Next we want to cut those through. So we're going to go to Solid, Extrude. We're going to grab all of these circles. OK that. And I'll call this Backside Flange Holes. Set it to Cut Body and set my distance to the thickness of the flange, which is 0.7. Now we'll say OK and create new operation. I'm going to rotate this around and we'll do the same thing. Pick all of these holes OK that. And I'll call this front side flange holes. Another cut body. I'll reverse my direction. Distance is the same. And we'll say OK. And there we have our part. Now if I go to my level manager and I put myself on level 2 and turn off level 1, I can see my completed solid model. And that completes the valve body project.